Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on TerraTech going to be having a go at the flying challenges. I did so well with the wheeled vehicles. Yeah, let's give me some, um, I'm assuming aircraft. I haven't done these yet. So, uh, rocket challenge. Well, this can only end spectacularly well for, uh, for me. Um, okay. Uh, right. So, Distance challenge. Build a tech and see how far you can fly. Hmm. Okay. Right. So. We've got to... I'm assuming this is... Does this mean going up or going length? Who knows? We're just going to... We're going to chuck some stuff on. Right. So. We are going to need... What are these bits? What is that exactly? Horn steering booster. Um... Okay, uh, so yeah, this is actually going to have to be going straight up, sorry, because there's no sort of wheels or floats or nothing. So this is literally going to be a case of, uh, how on earth do we build a rocket going straight up? I, <laughs> I, this, is, this is not something I've ever had to do, actually. If we put that back there more in the middle. Right, so if we stick this here, and then if we were to put that on, let's say, there, and then it was Z, was it Z keys to rotate stuff? There we go. So, aha! Like this! Right, and then we put this on the other side, and then we rotate that around like that. Right, and then what we want is... Maybe we want to keep that on the front, and then put a fuel tank, and then maybe with this even the weight out? I'm not sure. This will fly wonky, I suspect. Uh <laughs> oh, good God, this is a silly thing. Right, so drop you down, and then if we hold shift... Wee! It's, it's, it's got a hundred meters! <laughs> it's got a hundred meters and then exploded. Uh, and then everything... Oh, it's really exploded. Oh dear. No. Ah! <laughs> 120 meters! Outstanding work by me there, I think you will find. Okay, control is an issue. Uh, it, it, it was a bit wobbly. Okay, we can, we can, we can rectify that. Uh, <laughs> I like this as a challenge though, this is really cool. Uh, maybe if we build this all up so that it is even like that and then we place rockets now can we place rockets uh, where I wanted to no we need it to be one longer so we can have four rockets we can have more fuel tanks on the on the top and yeah then we should in theory of course go higher Da, 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 da. I'm assuming that there isn't sort of an aerodynamics model, if you like. So, uh, me having a completely flat... I mean, this is a terrible sort of design for, for going upwards. I'm assuming that isn't a problem. It's not really like I have much choice if I want to have this many rockets powering my thing. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have an option. And then we want another fuel tank on here. Try and now balance all of the weight out. I'm still not sure quite how this, this thing works. So, it says... Horn steering booster. Careful not to place them facing backwards or they will drain your fuel tank. So if I place it there, I'm just going to have it there to see what happens, basically. So if we press B. Okay, so we kind of have a little bit of maybe control. So if we hold then shift, look at us go! We're going up to space, kind of. We've got 130, 100, uh, we're out of fuel again. 200, come on, got 250, 250, yay! 250 meters! And a smooth, delicate landing, I think you will find there. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Ah, yeah, we're not going to get home with uh, with that. Maybe if we... No, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, apart from the fact that this is a real pain in the ass to, to reset because you travel miles and, uh, well, our base is all completely the other direction here. No, we're going further away again. We're going... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like my creation though. It, yeah, it, we can't. We don't really have a huge amount of control, and we're going to go and smack into the floor. I suspect. Yes, indeed, we are. Uh, is there a way to. I don't know if there is. A, there, there must be a, a, a better way of resetting it by the actual area, surely. I don't know. I'm probably missing something now. But uh, okay, well, well, we'll start again. So we're running out of fuel, actually, which is a small issue. 
I'm not sure how much bigger we can build this. Do we go... So wait, that was the width we had before? I mean, I, could, I can stick more rockets on. More rockets aren't a problem. But uh, the fuel tanks are what get, uh, what get drained completely. So wait, hold on. We'll go for this width. We will go for this length. Yeah, sure. This isn't going to go catastrophically wrong. We'll just kind of fill in all the gaps with these blocks again, just trying to make sure everything is everything is even, uh, evenly evenly spaced, if you like, uh, and that can go in there. Now we can have the rockets around here again. Like I have no idea how much of a difference additional weight on this thing uh, affects it, if you like. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing that the sort of the the more the more of these blocks, the the less thrust we're going to get. That makes sense, but I'm not sure quite to, to what extent it, uh, it it changes it. Right. So now we're essentially going to have a, a a great big flying platform of fuel tanks. This isn't dangerous at all. This is not at all a completely stupid idea. Nope. Definitely, definitely not. Okay. So we've got many more fuel tanks this time round, but. Of course, there's a lot more weight to be lifted, so maybe if we were to stick, uh, yes, we have to stick these, oh crap, I missed it, uh, down here, but again then, we have these, we're going to drain the fuel tanks more, <laughs> oh wait, this is the bit that we want to place it on, yeah, uh, we're going to have to have some on the front as well, just to balance it all out, in the vague hope that we have some control, you can go here as well, I'm going to give up with the little, the, with them things there, bugger it, okay, we will drop you down and then fire. How do we do? Uh, we are uh, apparently only 11 meters. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, oh dear. Uh, wee, there we go. We're kind of now propelling ourselves along. Oh, we just got 266 meters that time. 266. Ah, that button does it. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. I figured it out. 266 meters. Right, more fuel! More fuel is required! We'll stick a row of these down the middle. <laughs> I could, I suspect. I don't know if I could strap rockets to the back of a thing and just send it forwards. I mean, I guess technically that would work. Oh, that's made the balance all sorts of wrong. That's just all sorts of wrong over- Ah, I know why. Uh... Did I lose a... Yes, I lost a side rocket. Okay, I thought when I was resetting it, it would uh, fix it back to the state that it was. Oh, am I out of... Things have I used up my uh, allowance of rockets? Oh, well, that sucks. Um, okay, maybe I'm not allowed to go too bonkers with them. I'm only allowed so many. Well, bugger it. We're gonna have to get rid of that one, and then get rid of these ones over here as well, because uh, otherwise it's not gonna work. And now we're uh, we need some more fuel tanks over here, don't we? That one there. And over there, there we go. Uh, we have slightly less thrust, but a lot more fuel. Who knows if this is going to work. Right, uh, in fact, we are actually on the ground already. Okay, let's let everything recharge. And fire! Okay, yeah, we need more thrust. We definitely need a lot more thrust if we're going to take this much weight up into the air. So it it, it does have a fairly profound, sort of how you how you would expect it to, uh, to react. Right, I'm going to have to... Um, reset this we'll just go back through here because uh, i want i want to get all the rockets back out again because uh, that one there yeah apparently doesn't like me doing that what if what if i just do something silly like this will it just all explode this is just a test kind of idea uh, or will it just roll onto its it's too bloody bumpy ah what about putting it here though because here is like a half decent place have we got no okay it was too it's too rear heavy look look at it go it's fallen over though <laughs> right hold on idea i've had an idea no wait oh pick it up pick it up there we go now what happens if we use these fuel cans as essentially stabilizers now i'm not sure fuel tanks are a good thing to use as a stabilizer i'll be honest they're not really they're kind of slightly explodey and that's always a danger so if we now drop you down and we try and go forward. Ah, we don't have the same steer. There we go. Look at it go. It's it's fully under. Ah, okay. It is. We do have to be off the ground. Oh, I thought this was such a clever idea, though. 
Like, well, if it's in the air, it counts distance up and, and sort of distance across as well. But if we're on the ground, apparently we can't cheat our way to it. Oh, <laughs> See? It would have got the, the well, maybe not quite the kilometre, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, that doesn't work then. Uh, what about... You see, I'm not just thinking simplify the design here. If we get rid of all of these, simplify the design... So we go with just two of these strapped to the side of the smallest, lightest possible thing and then fill up the rest of the space with fuel tanks. Maybe that'll work. I mean, I'm not sure. It's not, particular, uh, it's not particularly controllable or anything, but uh, there we go. This sort of a thing. And then maybe if I stick some of these on here. Uh, yeah, I don't quite know how I'm supposed to. I don't quite know what to do with these. Uh <laughs> We can have sort of some control, wait, like that, that give me, oh, no, I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to fire the damn thing up. That You could probably sit around and position those rockets correctly. Ooh, hey, look at it go. Okay, that did better, right, get you back over there. That did do, that did do better. The problem is, is that it's firing it too far, I think that's in an awkward place. Maybe that's throwing off the weight distribution. So what happens if I do, Whoop, put that on there, will that even it up? Now that means that we have uh, oh, some some control. Right, pick you up. Unfortunately, it doesn't repair the fuel tanks, which is a shame. Right, go. Now, uh, oh, okay, so we have a little twisting control. We don't have any other control. Uh, <laughs> 199 meters. Bugger. This is quite a difficult one, actually. This is really quite difficult. Uh, it's still tipping forwards, though, which is irritating. What if I stick another one of these on here? Another one of. Uh, these, some more of these rockets, yep, we want some more, oh, we want of course have them pointing down though, uh, like so, okay, I'll probably pick it up so it doesn't uh, keep going through the floor, and then we will take the weight off the front, put the cockpit back there, and then fill up the rest with fuel tanks again, but then again I think we're going to get too heavy with, uh, with fuel, potentially anyway, and two more, if you will let me get two more, and then we will try again. It is literally just a flying fuel platform. That's all we're building here. And I'm amazed those tanks up front there haven't exploded. To space! We've actually got some decent... I don't know why it doesn't start counting until... Like, why it started... Why is it not started counting until... This actually flies really well. Oh, I found a cheeky tactic. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing this, but you let it recharge and then... Whoa. <laughs> Come on, recharge quicker. We need quicker fuel recharge. More fuel recharge! Uh, no, no, no! Okay, we're still going! Come on, 500 meters! Oh, it's so close! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! I did 500 meters and the first bit didn't seem to count. I don't know if I had to get to a certain height or whether it was to do with a, a, a previous flight, I don't know. But either way, I'm pretty pleased with that design. That design actually worked really, really well. I built a rocket in TerraTech and it wasn't completely terrible. Quite terrible, but uh, I got I got the bronze medal effectively. So awesome! Okay, I didn't know that was a challenge. That's a, a, an interesting sort of a different thing having to build uh, on here. Could actually add extra rockets. Maybe no, 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 no more extra rockets. Uh, <laughs> we will go to the next flying challenge. What are we going to be building here? Okay, small game crash later, and uh, we are going to try the the other flying challenge. This one is build a tech, see how far you complete the course. Okay, so similar to the ones I did with the uh, the vehicles. However, uh, I can't touch the ground. So once I go through, I'm assuming once I go through the checkpoints, I'm not allowed, to, or maybe I don't maybe I don't activate them until I've I've got until I'm in the air. The bits that we have available to build with are uh, this lot over here. So fairly decent amount of parts that uh, that we can we can use. Uh, what do we want to go for? Do I try and build a plane? I see wings. Do I try and what have we got over here? I'm a sh okay. So we have just okay. So we have a right wing. I'm guessing then you're going to be a left wing. Indeed you are. We have like a tail fin that they look like they have uh, movable. Aileron. You know the bits I mean that I, my brain can't pronounce? Yeah, them bits. It looks like they have them, so we're going to need them if we're building a plane. I think that can be used to create lift as well. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a small uh, aerofoil. You can probably use... Uh, I was going to say, you could probably make a really tidy vehicle, which I'm not going to make a really tidy vehicle. Okay, let's go for a plane, shall we? I spy a propeller as well. So... Uh, <laughs> Yes, we will go for we will go for an aeroplane, and this will probably go. Wait, which wing? Which wing was that one there? 
That was a, a, a right wing, so we want you on that side. Oh, we could actually go for... Uh, these wings don't look... Oh, I got the wrong side. Don't want that side. I want that... Uh, da, 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 da. Are you a... Uh, could you please tell me if you are a left wing or a right wing? It's kind of important. Okay, so you're a left wing, so we can have you over there. Like so. And then we could build up a tail fin like so. No, I'm not sure I like that that idea. I think of having I was thinking of having like a bigger tail fin, but I don't actually think we really need it. We could just have that. I don't know why that wouldn't work. I don't know how stable this will be once it gets in the air. That is the uh, the issue. Also, we don't have little stabilize oh bugger. We don't have stabilizing wheels for the back of it, so we're gonna have to have these on the back. I don't really want to use the big wheels. This is just for the takeoff. I don't want to use them, so this block could actually come in useful. If we stick it underneath there, and then go for wheel and another wheel. It's quite a crude plane, I will be honest. And then, aha, uh -huh, we have that. And then if we hold shift, I believe, we get the, 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 the propeller spinning. We have a plane! It is not exactly the best of planes, and dear god, we have no turning. Uh, <laughs> or sort of upwards, upwards movements. Upwards movement. Oh, unstable. Really, really shonky stability from... Uh, <laughs> look at it go, though. Uh, it's almost constantly pulling. If I let go of pulling up, we will just nosedive into the floor. Oh, uh, no, no. Pull up, pull up. It's all gone wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> we may have face planted it ever so slightly. Hmm. Okay. How do we stop it from face planting? That is a question and a half. Uh, do we? Am I going to have to go for a uh, da, 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 like so, something like I was thinking of initially? So what we do is we have. Uh, oh no, you don't want to go where I want you to go. Spin you round. Stick out the other. No, stick. Uh, ah, wait. Maybe it's because it's slightly in the floor. I kind of want that to stick out the. No, okay. It doesn't actually want to stick out the side I want it to go on. Right. Put that there. No, wait, better plan. Put that there. I, well, why am I bothering with the two bits? Put that one. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. Then we have a... Which side are you? I can't see because you're behind the... Right, you're a right side. So we can have you on there. And then you're a left side. You on there. So now we're kind of like a Eurofighter. Only, <laughs> only dodgily built with blocks. I mean, what could go wrong with this design? I mean, we could try and speed it up with fuel and rockets, and I'm just worried about completing the course. So let's use this use forward, forwards from that, then swap to... Oh, look at that! We can actually pull up now. Okay. More, <laughs> more, more wings is a good idea. Okay. Through the first... I mean, it's not amazingly quick. We are currently cruising at 70... Oh, it's not too bad, actually. 70, 80 miles... Like, the ridiculous rocket contraption's only got 120. So, ooh, oh, no. Uh, through the gate. Yes, look at that. It's not the... Again, it's not particularly stable. Uh, the, the, the the system I have for the, the front, I think, is too heavy. It's kind of just dragging it down. Which is not particularly good. Where, how long is this course? This is quite a long course. If I didn't have to keep trying to pull up, we could probably get more speed. That's 70, 77 miles an hour briefly. When did we get 96? Was that on takeoff? Probably was. Uh, okay, now just sort of let it cruise. Oh, Christ, that was a bit of a... I didn't want to do that for a pull up. Right, we can go down now. Let's get some speed. Ooh, okay, 80. Yeah, that's how we'll get any speed out of it. Uh, oh, this is a really long course. Ugh. And... <laughs> I'm constantly worried we are going to go crashing into the mountain. No, I don't want to pull up too sharply. If I pull up too sharply, we lose all of the momentum. I'm actually surprised that this is flying. It's not... <laughs> let's be honest, it's not a massively well-built aeroplane, but it is doing the job, just about. Uh, I don't actually quite know how... I, I'm, I'm holding shift for the propeller to work. I don't know what happens if I then attach rockets to it. Does shift still fire the rockets as well, or uh, who knows? We may have to test that out. But we are, where is the end of this course as well? I'm still constantly worried that this is going to fall over at any moment, because the, 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 the turning is really sharp on it. It, re it really t twists very, very quickly. In fact, to be fair, the pulling up is, is pretty sharp if I let it. I'm like having to constantly tap uh, the, uh, the S key. 
to uh, keep this thing from nose diving its way into the floor. But if we're oh, careful now, we'll pull up a little bit over that mountain. We don't want to fail and crash into into that thing, um, because yeah, I, I want to keep it sort of flat and level to to maintain seventy miles an hour. Aha! Uh -huh, I think that may be the finish here. Woohoo! We've completed it. Two oh five. Ah, okay. Right, we can't quite do it. I tried to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Try to do a loop. We don't quite have the ability of doing a loop in uh, in this one. Hmm. Right. How do we make? Actually, there is another way of doing this. Uh, I believe we have. Yes, we do have little hover plates, so we can keep. Well, rather than going for this whole plain route, I could abandon this and we can go for hover plates, which sounds like fun. And that's probably what the rockets are for. Okay, so 205 with an aeroplane, a quite shonky designed aeroplane, but it did the trick. Just explosion of bits. Uh, so let's try building a hover vehicle. So we probably want it to be uh, this kind of length and maybe... Oh, do we want it that wide or do we want it wider for more? I don't know if we want it too wide though, because we've got to go over essentially mountains. So maybe sticking hover plates on like this and... Uh, where was this cube bits over here? Okay, there's a spare one lying about. Then we stick the hover plates around here. We can stick fans on the back for speed, because the fans are very, very good at propelling it forwards. And then we can have some extra rockets lying around. Ah, bugger, it needs to be wider, doesn't it? I completely forgot that uh, everything's sort of uneven, because we need that to be... Oh, I exploded all the bits at the front. We need it to be four wide. Because if I want to get two fans on here, that's just the width it has to be. Did that go in the right place? Nope, it did not. Uh, how long? I could do it like that. Actually, that kind of works. That kind of keeps me satisfied as well at keeping everything uh, <laughs> everything all even. I will take that, and then we'll go back for more. Oh, I've stolen an extra hover plate when there were some lying around here. Okay, now we can go fans, and another one. Fans there. Then we can stick rockets. Actually, we have these. These I didn't really I didn't notice these when I built the drag car. These are like super powerful mini rockets, and they attach on flat surfaces, which is so useful because I can just fill up this space at the back that has there's no there's nothing nothing can go here particularly. So we'll fill up that space. Then we can attach our ship full of these uh, fuel tanks. And there's room for one more there. Voila! Not quite as elegant, perhaps, as the, admittedly the plane was not exactly elegant, but, um, uh, yeah, it works. It's, it's hovering. It's hovering. Ah, one small thing. It is hovering above the ground. That one there is badly placed. We may need more hover pads, I'll be honest. This one here, it is hovering not very well, though. Okay, more hover pads. More hover pads are required. I didn't know how powerful they were. Uh, <laughs> Apparently we need a lot of them for this thing. And not surprising, I mean, it has got a bunch of rockets and fans and stuff. I don't know if we're going to be limited to the number of these that we can use. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get just, just fill the underside with them. I mean, it's not maybe not the most efficient design, no, but uh, hopefully the fastest that I can, uh, can, can come up with. Right, so if we put you down there... Do we hover better? Uh, well, we might do if we didn't have a wing trapped underneath. Go away, wing. There we go. We don't really... It does steer like a hovercraft in that uh, <laughs> there is no steering whatsoever in, a, in this. I don't know if this is actually going to count as uh, being above the ground because it is, well, constantly bumping into it. Ugh. Okay, so it's a case of you sort of drift your way around. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, we may have... <laughs> It's not worked at all. We've had a small kerfuffle. All right, let's let's reset this back. So that, okay, so we've got to be very careful. I think the plane was the better way to go. Oop. We've got to kind of use the rockets sparingly. Yeah, these are these are difficult to. Oh, for God's sake! We've rolled before we even started. I think this may be too heavy or a design. I think it may be just a little bit too. I'm, I'm determined to at least get a couple of checkpoints. Come on. Okay, we've got to be very careful though with the whole. Uh, it wants to go to space bit. Uh, oh. Okay, well, we're going from a standing start this time round, and it didn't even count. Why did that not count? I was being perfectly sensible, and we weren't touching the ground, were we? Oh, Christ. 
<laughs> as terrible as this thing is, I quite like it. The turning circle is wider than a ferry's. It's so bad at turning. Right, okay, so spin, 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 boost to try and sort of straighten it out. And are we counting that as starting? Nope, apparently it doesn't. It, it doesn't like me at all. It really doesn't like this... Uh, this tech. Oh crap, we've got the propeller stuck on our thing. No, nope, we don't want a propeller. Okay, the first time it worked fine until I went to sort of skywards and then it wanted to be a plane and that's never a good thing for, for a hovercraft. Hovercrafts and planes are a dangerous mix, I would uh, I would imagine. Okay, so maybe if we can... No, it's, it's not happy at it's starting it for whatever reason. Ah well, whee! Uh, <laughs> this would have worked for the rocket thing, almost. Uh, pull up! Oh, no, I'm not going to have the time to do that. Um, yeah, okay, my hovercraft... Oh, my hovercraft may have exploded completely. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> it did. It, 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 it all exploded. Um, but I did build a plane. I built. We got 130 miles an hour. That hovercraft was quicker than my drag cars. Uh, <laughs> we built a plane, we did the course, 2 minutes 5. Uh, I like these building challenges. I certainly hope there are plenty more of them to come. Maybe a little more restrictive with parts and so on as uh, as as you go through. As they make you think, like you use stuff in slightly different ways. Like I'd never have thought of building a rocket to go upwards. Um, yeah, I, I really do, really do quite like these. But that's it uh, from me for building flying things. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.